we have seen that you can use either df.lock or df.ilock to select certain rows and columns from a given data frame. If you use df.lock, you need to give the row index and the column labels to select it. Whereas if you use df.ilock, you need to give the row and the column locations. Now there could be a situation where you are going to use either of these, either df.lock or df.ilock. And inside this, you need to pass a mixture of a label and a position. If it is df.lock, both of these should be labels. If it is df.ilock, both of these should be positions. But you might end up in a situation where you cannot hard code certain values. So you have to use a combination of both label and a position. How can you do that? There is a small workaround for this that you can do. Let's see that with an example based on the Titanic data set. From this data set, we want to get the name of this person. This value is present over here, right? In this data frame. We want to extract this value using either df.lock or ilock, but using a mixture of both label and position. Can you imagine how you would do that? So let's see that with an example. Say we are going to use lock. In this one, we cannot hard code the column name. We know the column position. We know the column position and index is 1. Index value equal to 1. Column position is 2. If this is the case, pass the index as it is value equal to 1 and pass in the position to df.columns. This will return the column name. The output of this is going to be column name. Then this output is the name of the person that you want to extract. What if it's the other way around? That is, you cannot hard code the index row name. You can use df.index, pass in the row position. This will give you the index value itself, right? Use this and column name. Both of this would work. If you are to use the ilock method instead, instead of lock, you are going to use ilock. Similar logic applies. Here, both of them needs to be ultimately get converted to position. But you need to extract that position from df.index in this case and df.columns in this case, in the second case, right? You have a method called getLock. Pass in the index value that you want to extract to getLock. This will return you the location. This output will be the position or the location of the index that you want to extract. Likewise, same logic goes for this also. Getting the location of name. Let's run this. Hope that is clear. Let's do some practice with a mini challenge. So the code for this challenge is as follows. You need to import the titanic.csv under data sets. Set the index as passenger ID. So this is your data. With this, extract the ticket value. That is this particular column. Extract the ticket value of this person, this passenger. Alan, Mr. William Henry. So your output should ultimately be this one, this particular value. But you need to use df.lock to extract this. And you cannot hard code the value of the column. You cannot hard code the name ticket into your df.lock command. If you face any trouble solving this, leave your question in the comment. Let's quickly see a lesser known tip. This is also very useful. How to remove a particular column from a data frame and store it as a separate series. You can easily do that using df.pop. Just like list.pop, you have df.pop. Pass in the column name and assign it to a different variable. This variable will contain the column name that you just popped out. Let's run this. So here from df, this particular column, the name column would be gone from this. That in turn would be stored in passenger names. Yeah, that's all it does. Very similar in function to list.pop.